Maria talks to Avery about Susie and how she's gotten used to her new environment at the Sunderland house. Avery tries to be polite, but then we see that he's already cheating on her with Lucilia again. Now Maria notices something strange upstairs and goes to check on Susie. It turns out that Susie is having visions of Shauna and she's scared so she asks Maria to stay. However, her foster mother tries to calm her down and goes to get a blanket. But then Maria finds Susie missing and panics. She goes on to find Shauna in the bathtub and hugs her, after which she says that she'll always love her. But it turns out that Shauna has possessed Susie's body. Meanwhile, Alec thinks back to some of his memories from when he was a human and continues to feel remorse. Suddenly he finds a dead body in the water and the vines grab him to show a horrifying vision of several other bodies. He manages to make them stop and then he comes across a mysterious man in a boat who doesn't seem to be scared of him. They have a conversation about how Alec is still a kind man at heart and he is puzzled by the man's strange composure. Then we see Danny trying to leave Maria's but He's unable to do so and his hand gets burned when he touches the barrier. We learn that he's made some kind of deal with a demonic force as we see an evil mask in his car. The next day Avery and Lucilia get down to business and have a discussion about their past romances. Then Lucilia gets a call from Liz telling her about the bullet marks on Alec's boat. She mentions it to Avery who senses bad news and then gets to work on the cover up. Now, Abby makes a record of her study and is interrupted by Jason. He wants to know where she got the plant tissue from, but she remains quiet even after he mentions Alec. Jason is about to make another accusation, but Abby manages to escape after getting a call about Susie. Avery meets Delroy in his kitchen and tries to convince him to tell Liz not to dig up more dirt on him. Before things get tricky, Liz interrupts them and confronts Avery. It leads to a brief standoff and Avery gets annoyed, but she leaves soon after. Later, Jason and his team reach Alec's cabin and go through whatever is left of it. Jason spots the Swamp Man's footprints and notices some tissue that makes him realize the sample has come from a living being. Meanwhile, Alec continues to ask the man about his name and purpose, so he helps him tap into some memories held by the trees and the green in the swamp. The man tells them that there's danger returning from the past and it's coming for someone he knows. Alec worries and allows the vines to show him a memory of Abby looking for Shauna in the water. That's when the man suddenly vanishes and Alec is left all alone again. Now Abby shows up at the Sunderland house and meets Susie as she has called her there. Maria doesn't make much of a fuss because she seems to know that it's actually Shauna waiting for her upstairs. Susie hums a song that reminds Abby of her past and then she performs an inspection. Shauna takes over the body and taunts Abby constantly until she reveals her true form. Abby hesitates at first but then Shauna scares her with some horrifying visuals. Abby refuses to believe that this is Shauna so she goes downstairs and confronts Maria about it. And that's when she learns that Janadu was involved in the resurrection and tries to reason with Maria but she tells her to go away. Now Shauna tells Maria that she has to return to the swamp and asks her to join her as well. Maria agrees instantly but this seems to be a trap set up by the spirit. Outside the house Janadu meets Abby and says that Susie is in danger because Shauna has become a vengeful spirit. At that very moment, they see Maria driving away with Susie. Now Lucilia goes to visit a man named Remy to investigate the attack on Alec. However, Remy reveals that Matt was the one who shot Alec and this prompts Lucilia to kill him. Later, Abby asks Janadu about what she did with Shauna and she says that she might have opened up a gate that allowed Shauna's spirit to get corrupted by vengeance. Meanwhile, Maria is brought back to the swamp and the spirit creates an illusion of Shauna to lure her into the water. It leaves Susie's body after that so she rushes back to Abby and tells her everything that's happened. Abby manages to find Maria and asks her to stop but Maria goes crazy and tries to drown her in the swamp. Abby somehow breaks free and escapes to the shore and Maria chases after her but Shauna's spirit drags her inside the water. Luckily Alex saves Maria and she is shown to have survived the attack. 
Alec offers to show Abby her memories and she agrees, after which she is taken to a flashback where she sees how Shauna ended up drowning in the water 14 years ago. That's when it is revealed that Shauna had actually played a prank on Abby at first, but something evil had dragged her inside after that. Abby wants to know more, but Matt arrives, so Alec has to leave. Unfortunately, he feels jealous again when he sees Matt taking care of Abby. At Delroy's bar, Liz chats with Danny regarding his hand, and then he asks her whether she actually likes being a Marae. Later on, Liz is attacked by Avery's goons and puts up a fight, but then Danny arrives to help and gets knocked down with a crowbar. Later, Avery reaches the hospital to check on Maria and runs into Jason who tells him about the living tissue that Abby gave him. Jason wants to study the creature, so Avery gives him a hunter's number and tells him to capture the swamp monster. In the night, Alec continues to foster feelings for Abby, and then he finds a wounded rabbit. Unfortunately, this turns out to be a trap, but Alec manages to break free despite being attacked with tranquilizers. The hunters, Mike and Fraser, panic upon seeing his brute strength, but decide to fight him anyway. However, Alec shows off his plant powers and severely wounds them in the process. Luckily, the hunters manage to get out of the ordeal with their lives intact. And now we see Danny on a ventilator, and Liz feels guilty about it. She fills Abby in on Avery's goons, and it angers her, so she rushes towards the evil millionaire. Then we see a flashback to Danny's past, where a mysterious agent offered him a big ticket to Hollywood, but upon certain conditions. Abby confronts Avery regarding his actions, and he pleads ignorance, but she insists on his confession. She gets called to the ER just as Avery begins to threaten her, and then she finds Mike and Fraser who are being treated for their injuries. Liz suspects Alec of foul play, but Abby insists that there has to be some reason behind this. Later we see Lucilia talking to Matt about Remy's death, after which she confronts him about what she learned and slaps her son for selling out to Avery. Matt denies shooting Alec at first, but then he confesses to it, saying that Avery had threatened to kill Lucilia if he refused. Then he confronts his mother about all the corruption she's been involved in for the past 30 years, and it leads to a very uncomfortable conversation. Matt declares that he wants to leave the city, and then the duo are informed about the injured hunters. Lucilia sends Matt to handle it, and she breaks down into tears once he leaves. Later at night, a nurse sneaks into Danny's room and tampers with his IV. Another flashback shows us that the mysterious agent managed to get Danny a lead role after they signed their deal, but he also told him to wait for Abby as a part of their agreement. Suddenly, Danny awakens aggressively and his body starts to heat up, after which Jason comes in. He sends Liz to find the nurses and allows Danny to escape without much of a fight. Meanwhile, Abby meets Alec and clears the air regarding the attack on the hunters. She tries to offer support, but the cops arrive so Alec runs away. Later, Jason meets Avery and tells him about Danny recovering from his irreversible condition. Then he reveals that he was the one who tampered with the IV, using a solution he synthesized from Abby's tissue sample. Avery tells Jason to write a report for his investors, after which Jason asks him to get Abby involved as well. Back at the swamp, Matt and his partner Tyler notice the massive footprints in the soil. So Matt takes his shotgun and goes looking for the monster. He runs into Abby and then Alec attacks him, but let's go after Abby asks him to. Matt is unable to believe that this swamp man is actually Alec and asks if he remembers anything from the explosion. Alec seems to recognize Matt, but doesn't identify him as his shooter. Abby begs Matt to not report this incident, and he reluctantly agrees. Later, Jason's wife tells him that she wants to leave as she doesn't really like how his research is affecting him. However, he doesn't seem to care that he used an untested drug on a human subject and reassures her that everything will be fine. Now, Liz runs into Danny at his place, but he's still burning up, so he insists on finding Jason. Liz is worried for him, so she calls 911 for help. Danny reaches Jason's house and begs him to cure his condition, but Jason is totally clueless. To make matters worse, Avery shoots at Danny and then he loses control. Luckily, Jason's wife knocks Danny down with a knife, and then the cops arrive. 
Avery handles them, but then tells Jason to go ahead with the presentation, as he's already told his investors about the miracle drug. Later, Matt and Abby talk about Alec and he offers to take her away from Marae, but she insists on helping her friend. Matt is disappointed and goes back to the station to talk to Lucilia. At the hospital, Janadu meets Danny and laments how she couldn't interfere with his destiny. However, she manages to absorb his pain and relieve his troubles for now. As Alex spends some more time with Abby, he tells about the mysterious man he met and wonders about fully immersing himself in the green. At that moment, a flower blooms in his hands and, in a shocking turn of events, Alec transforms into a human again. And that's it for part 3. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that bell icon to get notified on our latest uploads.